It's a very fashion-filled Monday morning. I'm Jennifer Snassi. You're watching News 24 Live. Last night, the South African Style Awards took over everyone's Instagram accounts. I'm joined in studio by Woman 24's fashion and beauty editor, Marisa Kraus. She's going to talk us through the best and most interesting outfits. <laughs> interesting indeed. <laughs> No, I mean, so many great style moments last night, and it's it's great that South African, you know, personalities are also honored for their style choices. Um, it might not always be on par with international standards, but I think some of the, the outfits by South African designers were really, really beautiful. I think it's always really important to honor South African style icons before we honor the international ones, because South Africa is a very unique country, exactly. and maybe what works here isn't going to work on an international Definitely. red carpet. My, one of my favorites was Namza Mumbata. I know. I love her style. She always tries something different. And she, she loves capes and jumpsuits. And she wore this. And she, she looks stunning in them. I know. And she wore this beautiful mustard kind of crop top with a flared, you know, a pair of trousers with a cape. And it was just so beautiful, very 70s inspired. And she also always incorporates like a nice accessory like she wore these beautiful you know like african beads yeah, and bangles they were beautiful. and that i really love and her hair makeup everything is always on point always now we can't talk about namzama without talking about maps mapanyane are they dating are they not dating <laughs> we don't know but that's not what we're here to talk no. about maps was there and he made a big statement last night with his striped suit with his striped shirt and his striped tie stripe and stripe. if you were on instagram he posed against a striped wall <laughs> so, so there were a lot of stripes going on for maps and i'm still a little bit undecided as to whether or not this worked for him so i think maybe one element of the outfit should have just been plain like say just wearing a plain pair of black or navy trousers but I think, you know, his maps, he's got such a good look overall. So he really pulled it off for me. Um, a lot of people might disagree, but I think he really tried, you know. Not everyone tries. And sometimes people try and then it really fails. And I think this was a good effort. <laughs> I agree. I think the first time I saw it, I actually thought it was like an optical illusion. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> after seeing it, after watching him walk around and seeing several different photos, I, I'm with you on that. I think, I think it worked for him. Yeah. Now, we must talk about Bonang. Of course. Ahead of the SA Style Awards, she posted a lot of photos on yeah. her Instagram of different outfits she's worn throughout the year. Yeah. I think maybe getting us ready for the big exactly. reveal. Exactly. Because people always look forward to what she's going to wear. And she loves to wear like Gharjian Kutsia outfits, which are usually very feminine, very, you know, opulent, very, you know, extravagant. And Belang is all about the drama. So she arrived in what I thought was kind of like a wedding dress. And it was... Very Bonang, you know, I mean, she looked beautiful, stunning, but it's not necessarily something I would want to see every celebrity in on the red carpet, I think. Um, you know, like corseted gown, lots of ruffles. Um, but I mean, it works with Bonang and her personality. She's all about the drama. <laughs> She's very over the top, isn't she? But yes. that's what we all love her yeah. for. <laughs> And that's why we never tire of watching her and we want to know what she's going to wear because she always surprises us. Now it wasn't all about the outfits, it was also about the makeup. Mm. And Amanda DuPont had these beautiful lips. Yeah, no, that is stunning. Like she wore this white outfit, which it, I thought it was okay. I didn't like it that much, but her makeup just, you know, completed the look. Because say if you go for a white, very feminine dress with lace, then pairing it with quite light, fresh makeup can look a little bit bridey at an event like this. Mm -hmm. So I think um, she did the perfect thing, a bit of a smoky eye, not too much, with this really bold lip. And I think this lip, anyone can pull off. It goes so well with most skin tones. Uh, so I just think she rocked it. It just gave that dress a bit of edginess, you know. Leanne Lamini actually had the same lip. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's very, very popular. popular. <laughs> And then um, I liked uh, Leanne Liebenberg also, but I mean, she wore this dress. It's, it's a very beautiful dress. You can't say that, you know, she, she can pull anything off and it made her look even taller than she already is. Um, beautiful dress, also with a bit of a flared sleeve, which is, you know, the 70s sleeve of the moment. Um, yeah, so I think, I mean, she's just always beautiful. Now these are all outfits that we loved. Anything you didn't like? 
I mean, I would say that with all the outfits, there was something that, you know, I liked and I didn't like. There was nothing that I saw last night except for maybe Aisha Baker's dress. She's the Cape Town... Uh, Baked the blouse. Yes. Um, she wore this beautiful burgundy dress that's so classic, you know, so stunning with black, like accessory shoes, handbag. And she even did an outfit change later in the evening as well, as one does, with changing into more like a fairy tale dress.